Hello everybody and welcome to Top 5 New Comics for March 8th and 9th of 2022. I am as always Chris, and by the rules of the internet, I must ask you to subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and comment down below. Always appreciate it when you do. Enough of that. Let's jump into some comics. Starting with... Devil's Reign number five. This is written by Chip Zdarsky with art by Marco Cecchetto. So just been really, really enjoying Devil's Reign. Um, it's been a great extension of the Daredevil run that uh, Chip and Marco have been doing. And uh, kind of a prelude because we are getting more Daredevil from the two as well. We've got Wilson kind of at the moment where it looks like he's winning. He's going to win, guys. It's, you know, how these things go. But we've got Wilson. All of the superheroes are underground. They're trying to figure out a way to take care of it. They've got their the person they want to run for mayor in Luke Cage. We've got the, the purple kids uh, on the run from Wilson so that he can't take over the minds of everybody in New York and all these fun things. I I'm just really really enjoying this series. It's been a blast, and I highly recommend it, especially if you are reading Chip's Daredevil run. After that, we've got Punisher number one. This is written by Jason Aaron with art by Jesus Saez and Paul Azeka. So I I struggled with this one. I'm gonna be honest with everybody. Uh, not a big Punisher fan, and I've said it publicly enough times, the new logo is stupid. I, I really don't like it. And, but we've got kind of a new frontier for Punisher, or a rebirth, if you will, for Punisher. And I'm interested to see where it goes. And not only that, I just love Jason Aaron's work. Um, he's one of those writers where I pick up everything he does. I, for the longest time, was saying I'm not going to pick this up because it's Punisher. And I'm just not a Punisher guy. But I'm a Jason Aaron guy, so let's see what he's got. Um, it looks like Frank is going to take his war on crime in a different direction in this and kind of change how he's been doing things to see if he can do something better or different. So I, I'm just interested to see how they reignite Punisher. So we'll see how it is. Hopefully it's good. I hope I enjoy it. After that, I have Captain Carter number one. This is written by Jamie McKelvey with art by Marika Cresta. Everybody... Fell in love with Captain Carter in the What If animated series. Uh, Captain Carter is a character that's shown up in multiverse stuff in the past. Not in this exact way, but the whole Peggy Carter becoming Captain America thing has shown up in the past. And I've always really enjoyed it. Uh, it's an extension of Captain America's mythos. It's one of Captain America's uh, love interests from back in the day. And it's a character I've always enjoyed. So... I'm going to check it out. I I was a tiny bit critical on uh, the What If episode where I felt it was very by, paint by numbers in terms of What If, but it was still good, and I still liked the, the path that it took. And uh, hopefully we get something cool out of this. We get a little bit more of an extension of who Peggy is in this universe and uh, how her version of captain america quote unquote differs from steve uh i just i really enjoy these alternate universe stuff and honestly it, it's still its core what if book and i'm always down for a good what if book after that i have justice league versus the legion of superheroes number two this is written by brian michael bendis with art by scott Godelsky. So the first J uh, Justice League versus Legion book I really enjoyed. Uh, there was a few moments in there that were really good, 
we got some more on the Gold Lantern, who he is and what his deal is. And now we're going to dig even deeper into it. Now that we've got our story, we've got our the two teams together and how their different adventures collide. We can kind of dig deeper into everything. And at its core, I'm just so enjoying this book because of the whole gold lantern of it. I, from the moment Bendis started writing Legion, I was enthralled with this gold lantern, who he is, what he's all about. Uh, I really enjoyed Bendis's Legion and I want more. I just want more. So I'm, I'm so, this is probably my top book for the week. I'm so excited for it. And hopefully uh, you'll enjoy it. After that, I've got Little Monsters, number one. This is written by Jeff Lemire with art by Dustin Nguyen. Little Monsters. So we've got a world here where we've got these children, they're the last children on all of Earth, and hey oh, they're vampires as well. And their adventures have brought them to a point where they can no longer be together. They, they split up and craziness ensues. Jeff Lemire is another one of those writers out there where I'll, I'll check out anything he does. I love a good vampire story. The art looks phenomenal. Everything about this looks cool. And it looks like this is the first book from Image, uh, from Jeff Lemire and Image as part of their deal. So I'm in interested to see how that path continues for them. Uh, it was kind of a shocking news story when those two decided to do their uh, exclusive deal. and. Here we are. We we got our first book out of it, so we'll see how it is. Just looks like a cool world. I'm always down for a good vampire story. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, that's everything this week. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to check out the podcast, Fortress Comic News. Uh, every week we interview a new uh, comic creator. This week we're talking to Jonathan Hedrick, uh, writer of The Recount. Amazing book. Absolutely loved reading that book. And uh, yeah, that interview will also be available on the YouTube channel as well. So make sure to check that all out. And I uh, thank you all so much for doing so. And I will see you all here next week. <laughs>